Welcome back everyone to Ludus and Finio. We are continuing our playthrough of Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr as our Tactical Crusader. And now we have the simple mission of Exterminate All Enemies. Oh, I missed this game. So, for those of you who might not know, I do all my gameplay records on Thursdays. Just to, you know, try and set it up where I have more time to devote to my lore videos. And, uh, I normally only play the games that you see on my channel. On Thursdays. I do have a separate playthrough of this. I think maybe I played it once this week. And it was also a Tactical Crusader, but it was also... I th think like a 20 level difference. The other character is 20 levels higher than this one, if I remember right. By the Emperor. No, kill that. Be gone, demon. Let's see what's so important in the chair. Okay. I have got the stuff. And I have effectively cut the map in half. This is gonna suck. Also, my, um, I have a different armor set on my other character, where this one has the uh, demolition armor with the rocket launchers, which is cool. That one has a jet pack, which allows for a lot more maneuverability. Oh, yes, and before I forget, can I do it here? Yeah. Now, I did say I would make this a guide on how I'm going to level this character up. So, there was one that I wanted to show you, and I forget where it is. Oh, no, it was that one. Okay, I already have it. So, essentially, at this point, we're just going to round out the ranged combat to get that even though this shit right here is completely irrelevant to me because I cannot get critical hits due to one of the perks I picked. It increases my base damage by 66% but I cannot get critical hits. So it in my experience overall I do more damage this way But I probably wouldn't pick this for like reloading. A, I haven't played the assassin that much, and if they get just stupid boost to their critical hit chance, then I probably wouldn't put it on them. But where I just use rapid fire all the time, it, it's kind of like okay, cool. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> I, I get one hit kills with my least damaging ability. So it's one of those things where I'm kind of like, is it worth the damage nerf to be able to critically hit? Or is it something that I can live without? But anyway, let's see. This video, I will make this video my first video of the week, which will be Sunday. So, hopefully everyone has watched uh, the lore video that I post on Thursday. If not, please check it out. Let me know what you think. I did quite a few different things with it. Um, one, I actually put gameplay in the lore video, which is something I've noticed is a bit of a rarity. 
and I, uh, I, I just, I want to make it more, I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here is, um, accommodating to people. You know, I understand just looking at pictures for 10, 20 minutes can be a little bit, well, a little bit, is, can, it can be absolutely fucking boring. So, I, um, so I'm trying to tweak some things, see what makes it better, see what changes I can make, so I put out better content for all my viewers. I think I have cleared up this half of the map. Now to do the other half of the map, which actually has a little bit more enemies. But I really do appreciate all the uh, all the people that have supported me this far, giving me all the feedback through either my Discord, uh, the few that have given me comments on YouTube, and those that I have talked to in private about you know some of the changes I'm making, what they think about it. Yeah, you know, I really do appreciate you know people taking time to give me the feedback. Because that way, hopefully, again, I can put out better quality content. I mean, it's not an excuse. But, you know, I'm still... I've been doing it a year, yes. But realistically, I've only been doing it maybe... Actually, at this point, about 15 months. So... About nine months total, I believe. Because there was about a six month break in the middle and I um, and, and I'm seriously just I'm trying to get better about it so I've been working on my upload schedule been making it to where I do all my upload well, all my gameplay on the same day so I'll be set for a week so I have time to do my lore videos and of my custom lore videos, not my Horus Heresy book summaries, I've only done, I think, 15, if that, of those. I'll have to actually double check that number now, which shouldn't be too hard. I can do that while I am doing this. And nope, that's not what I want. And then let's see. Videos, comments, my playlists. That was pointless. Um, I've done 11 videos, okay. I've done 11 uh, 40k lore videos. So I'm still trying to get better about those so that I can hopefully improve the quality of those as well because that's really what I enjoy doing is the lore videos and now normally I would have my orc buddy here with me but quite frankly my I've been sick the past couple of days and my throat's already hurting a little bit so I'm not really going to push my luck especially when I've already got three more recordings to do after this so if I were to do it for all three recordings at most, I think for this one, it's probably going to be closer to the end, but, um, he's something that I really hope people enjoy because honestly, I enjoy doing him. I think he adds a lot of contrast 
to the channel. And he really is becoming his own personality, so... I mean, yeah, it is, uh, to, to break the fourth wall a lot here for a second, it really is just me doing, you know, a silly orc voice, but that being said, you know, it's one of those things that I've liked the orcs, I've always saw them as really the comedic relief of the 40k universe, and I'm hoping that it does the same for other people. You know, that even if it's just a cheap laugh, people still get a laugh out of it. Loading. Especially now when we're kind of at a stage where some people just need a laugh. You know, they're going through hard times, they're really depressed, they, you know, they could have something going on in their life and they just need someone there either to listen or in some cases they just need something to break the monotony. Yay, I have done it. So we have to do the next mission. Yay. And actually, it's kind of funny. I'm, um, because, ooh, because I have a lot Inquisitor, to, I am Inquisitor. no, Whee! what am I looking at here? It's a ship. Are you going to blow up that planet? Ooh. I see Black Legion, I see what I'm going to assume is Ultra Legion, or uh, Ultra Legion, uh, Alpha Legion, and that one is one of the Corn Worshippers, and I forget which ones it was they added it in. Omicron. There it is. As I've already explained, I must find the martyr. You don't care. The only thing I care about you is this shit right here. So something else that I kind of like and kind of hate at the same time is all of your currencies across all of your characters is shared. Which is kind of cool and can be kind of damning at the same time. Because I, um... I will use all of my money on one of my high levels and completely forget about it. I'm like, oh, I need this piece of equipment. Oh, shit. <laughs> it really sucks being one of my low level characters in this game. But so, the plan for now is to do this game, continue Mass Effect 2, which was oh, so much fun last time. I think I'm going to, I'm split between this and I'm going to either pick up Fallout 4 with the Space Marine in Fallout 4, or I'm going to do Dawn of War 3, and then... I also have Just my Bruce, Clan Pestilence video. Might be a good time to tell me about the reason for this lockdown. Re? No. Just let me kill. Um. See? How hard is that? Uh, and then I have my Clan Pestilence video, which I'm actually trying to run in the background. For the simple sake of... 
I have so much shit to do, it's not funny. Aha! Because I'm at the point in that game where it's literally just about 20 factions left total. And the really shit part about that is, I think, actually, I, um, I have to double check it now. I'm pretty sure I just moved to the most powerful faction. But I'm in kind of a, I'm in a good spot, and at the same time I'm in kind of a bad spot. Because... I can only, literally, only go up where I am. But that means I have to, one, take on the second strongest faction at this point, And two... I also need to, uh, Consistently watch my sides. Where... Because the only people on this continent are me and the Dark Elves. Oh, you son of a bitch. But, um... But yeah, so... The only people I really have to fight are the main Dark Elf faction. And that's gonna suck. But I'm hoping, because I look <clears throat> and right now they're also taking on quite a lot of people on the other continent as well so I'm hoping keeping them distracted will wipe them out well I'm hoping if they can keep them distracted I'll be able to take over this whole continent work my way up and then after I take over the continent, just work my way over. <laughs> but this is a hell of a lot easier said than done. And quicker said than done. Come here, you. You all will die because I want you to die. Thank you. mechanisms on the sentry pillars. You mean these two mechanical columns? Correct. Warning. Manual override will activate the alarm system. I can't silence the alarm on this series. I mean, I'm kind of okay with more enemies at this point. Something else up here? No. Warning. Alarm system activated. Oh, that moves so slow. Oh shit. Okay, now we're gonna die. This right sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the second sentry pillar. That was a big policy, and it almost worked, but I almost got it in one go.
It really does. I can find no argument with that statement. Now let's see if I can do this. Alarm system activated. Okay, they're on the move. Alright, cool. Aha! That one I did do better. of personnel, thus initiating lockdown protocols. You experimented with this? Are you insane? The creation of a daemon host condemns the host's soul to eternal torment. Initiating empathy modulator. Attempt failed. <laughs> I like the mechanic. I, I mean, like, I really know very little about the mechanicus, so I'm not gonna lie. But just the way they talk makes me love them. Oh, they're homing. How lovely. Nope. Die. I have found Uther's tarot. Now what? What you have in your possession is a special tool that Uther Tiberius designed for his grand project. Psychoactive cards that can allow communication through visions. Like the Emperor's tarot. Incorrect. Uther's tarot is quite different from the Emperor's tarot, both in symbolism and craftsmanship. But it is indeed a very potent tool. You must talk me through it when I get back to the ship. No, I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> but with that lovely loading screen left, after I get back to the ship and bullshit about Uther's terror. Hopefully, maybe, eventually. I have unlocked the Thunder Hammer and the Personal Teleporter. When used in combination, could be hilarious. Tick Priest, I have obtained Uther's Tarot. Now, I want you to tell me how it works. Research is still in progress. Insufficient data. If a deck like this was good enough for Klosterheim, I should be able to use mine to find the Martyr. Correct assumption. Uther's Tarot is a psychoactive set of cards that needs a mental focus to search for echoes in the warp related to the given focus. Wait, 
If I concentrate on a specific idea, the terror will guide me there. Define guide. The cards might show you a vision of the past, the present, or a possible future. More research needed. But the short answer is yes. I will need you to talk me through this again. Then I'm going to attempt to focus on the martyr. Luther's tarot is showing me a vision of the martyr. I've been expecting a prophetic message, but what I see is a nightmare. The fever dreams of someone on that ship. Oh, good. Th this should be, uh... There are places in this universe where madness reigns. Dominions of evil where the taint of the other world trickles through. The Martyr is one of these places. And fate has brought me to this haunted ship. The Martyr has been drifting in the warp for millennia. The wandering fortress monastery of Uther Tiberius has become an enigma I need to solve. I have sacrificed everything to find this ship. I've been hunting relentlessly for the Martyr since I pledged myself to this cause. Driven by my sacred oath, I've been roaming the Caligari sector for decades. I kill. I bargain. I made pacts and broke them. Only to succeed where others have failed. And I'm still paying the price for my curiosity. I have lost so much. I have lost my mentor. I keep losing my allies. I've been stranded on a derelict filled with the filth of Nurgle and the failed experiments of Uther Tiberius. But I must prevail. Uther believed that the flesh was only a vessel. He thrusted his chosen ones into vile darkness and prayed to the God Emperor to turn them into holy weapons. He might have stumbled into the way, and it falls upon me to finish what he had begun. I believe that the Martyr holds the key to our salvation. There is something hidden in this ship that could change the future of the Imperium. I will cleanse this place with holy fire and righteous wrath. I will be transformed by pain and faith. I will find the secret of Uther Tiberius. And we get to see the intro with additional dialogue. That was actually pretty cool, not going to lie. But, one thing I did, I, I will point this out real quick before I end the video. I did love their representation of the Plague Marines. That is a really good representation of what they are. But, that being said, I hope you all enjoy the video. I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!